Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Michi. I'm an English teacher and a study abroad advisor. And、uh, I'm shooting this video in my office in Nagoya, Japan. And I hope this video will find you well, either in Japan or Canada or any other country that you find yourself in. Thank you very much for watching.、Um, you may be wondering why I'm speaking English in this video. And I've got a few reasons for that. You know,、um, I call myself an English teacher and at the same time, a study abroad advisor. I've actually, I, I, I'm actually、uh, doing those two jobs, two professions, for about almost like a 12, 13, 14 years since I came back from Canada to Japan back in 2006. I started working as a study abroad advisor. And an English teacher. And,、uh, you know, I'm kind of you know, hoping that those two professions of mine, two, two、uh, areas of my expertise, to combine and then serve you to achieve your goals, to help you learn more about Canada and English. So、uh, um, I know not many study abroad. Agencies or agents do not teach English because that's not what they do, but I realized that that's something I can do, so I decided to、uh, give it a try.、Um, you know, I know this is you know, you, you came to v- this video and looking for information of、um, you know, schools in Canada or how to apply to a Canadian visa or something like that, but you know. Your purpose to go to Canada is to study English mainly or get a Canadian education. And、um, I think English is useful、uh, for everybody who comes to my website, my video, or my YouTube channel, or my Facebook page. So I'm, uh, I'm uh, ho- hopefully, I can serve you、uh, as an English teacher as well as a study abroad advisor. So I want to share with you. Uh, how I learn English and、uh, how I speak English and、uh, what I know about English language.、Um, I hope you like it and I hope you use it and I hope、uh, achieve your, your goals and、uh, dreams, right? <laughs> and the second reason why I'm doing this is very simple actually.、Um, I'm an English teacher, but before that, way before that, I'm an English learner. I've been learning English you know, since you know, I started learning English at the age of 27. You know, I started learning English at 27 when I first went to Canada uh, uh, to Halifax, right? So、um, I, I think, considering the, 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 the age fact, I, I think that's a little late. And I'm sure most of you who are watching this video are younger than、uh, 27 or 28. So,、uh, If I could do that, I believe you can do that. So,、um, hopefully, this old man can be、uh, an inspiration for your、uh, English study. All right? So,、uh, you know, that's, that's enough introduction.、Uh, let's get started on、uh, my、uh, English lesson. You know, I, I know, in each episode, I want to teach you a phrase that,、uh, that, might, be in,、uh, that might be useful、uh, you know, for your life in Canada. Um, the, 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 the very first one that I want to teach you is、uh, it's a very simple word. It's called、um, handle.、Uh, you know,、uh, handle means in Japanese, steering wheel. You know, steering wheel.、Uh, but in English, it's a little different. If you say handle, it's a verb.、Uh, handle means、um, control or manage. Okay? So, you may be asked by your host family or your teachers、uh, a question like this Can you handle it? Can you, can you handle it? Or can you handle this? Something like this. Can you handle it? You know? That means, can you manage this situation? Or can you do what I ask you to do? You know? That's the question. So, if you think you can do it, Or you can manage the situation that you are given, and you can say, Yes, I can handle it, meaning I can do it. 
But if you're not sure, you can just say, oh, I'm not sure I can handle it, or I don't know, you know? Uh, or you can say, no, I cannot do it, I'm not, I'm not capable of <laughs> this, or something like that. And then maybe the person who asked it, asked you to do that will give you more information or, you know, um, give that test to someone else, all right? So, can you handle it? Okay, I think it's pretty uh, obvious, but uh, it's very common in a daily conversation, all right? I hope I can handle this video series and I can, uh, I, can, uh, I, can, I can serve you as an English teacher as well as, you know, study abroad agent, all right? Uh, as you can see, you know, this is my first episode speaking English to you and teaching you, so um, I'm sure it's, it's not perfect, you know, I make mistakes, you know, it's okay, you know, making mistakes is, uh, is, a, is a very important part of your learning, you know, English learning, language, any language learning, I think it's important to make mistakes because more than that, it's important to, to speak, you know, to, to, you know, to structure, um, you know, languages you know, sentences, and then let it out. <laughs> That's very important. You, you speak English, you make mistakes, you learn from mistakes, and then, then you're good to go. So that's the mindset you need to apply when, you, when it comes to, you know, English learning. So, you know, I'm not afraid of making mistakes. I'm not afraid of uh, you know, speaking English in front of, you know, the camera, because I believe I'm serving you, all right? So, um, maybe, as you know, this is my first video. Maybe I will be speaking, you know, a little bit better, uh, way better than this in my 50th or 100th um, episode down the road. Um, so that's the learning, that's the progress, right? So um, thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you very much for bearing with me. And uh, I hope you like it. I hope you come back to my you know, next video and then we can learn together um, and if you have any English questions you can uh, you can ask me you can send me uh, an email or you can you know just put the, the comment down below and I'll make sure I get get it and um, answer your questions all right uh, thank you very much for watching again and I will see you in the next video bye bye